Evotech just announced a collaboration with Bristol-Myers Squibb in the field of targeted protein degradation. Let's call Evotech's SVP Protein Hemostasis Biology Lead, Andreas Weiss, to learn some more about this exciting new modality. Hello, Andreas. Targeted protein degradation, or TPD, is an emerging therapeutic modality. What is so special about TPD as a modality, and how does it work? In order to understand what makes targeted protein degradation so special, it is first important to know this and understand how traditional drugs really work in the body. So most conventional drug therapeutics work by having a drug-induced blocking of a certain protein activity in the body. And a drug exerts its function as long as the drug is really bound to the target protein. We call this also occupancy-driven drugs. Now, there are two main challenges with this approach. First, there's only a limited percentage of proteins in the human body, about 10%, that really have an activity function that can be blocked by a drug. And the other 90% of uh, human proteins are what we classically refer to as undruggable proteins. So they don't have an activity function, but they more have a scaffolding function or a structural function within the body. But they're out of the reach of traditional drug development. And second, um, due to this occupancy-driven nature of traditional drugs, a drug can only really have a disease relevant or disease causative effect as long as the drug is normally bound to um, its protein of interest. Interesting. And what is the advantage of TPD here? The way that targeted protein degraders, uh, degraders work is a little bit different from traditional drugs. So in order for them to function, they don't need to block an activity of a protein, but they just need to bind to any given protein. And this binding event of a drug then flags the protein of interest for its removal by the naturally occurring garbage disposal system of the human cell, so to speak. So that has two critical advantages. First, we can now drug the classically considered undruggable proteome of the human body, because every protein for which we can find a binder to can now be degraded by a drug and then have a disease causative and disease relevant effect. Second, because this binding event only flags a protein for removal, for degradation, the drug can exert its function multiple times while it is in the human cell. So in order for it to function, it doesn't need to be tightly bound to the protein of interest the whole time, but it flags one protein for degradation. This protein gets degraded, the drug is released within the cell again, and it can tag the next protein for degradation. So this way, targeted protein degraders can be very potent drugs that um, exert its flare function multiple times through an event-driven process and not an occupancy-driven process. How do Evotech and BMS collaborate in this exciting modality? How did that collaboration come about? While the original collaboration was initiated in 2018, this was basically an exploratory phase of the collaboration to prove that the concept works. Um, this was very successful. The first compounds are now already transitioning into the LO activities. And we now have extended these activities to a more strategic concept where we really leverage the full power of these platforms now for the years to come to advance as many compounds as possible into LO to IND and ultimately into the clinic. How do EvoPanomics and EvoPan Hunter, AI and ML, support the development of TPD? So these are two proprietary platforms that kind of turn drug discovery on, on its head. So we use the power of big data to discover no targets for a given drug and not drugs for a given target. So again, traditionally, when you talk about drug development, you have a target in mind, you have this huge small molecule library that you screen against the targets, and then you characterize these small molecule hits and try to push them further in the pipeline. By using the power of uh, PanHunter and Panomics here at Evotech, we are able to turn this traditional drug discovery paradigm on its set. So instead of discovering a compound for a target, we are able to now discover a target for a compound. And we do that by, first of all, using our world-leading industrial pipeline of proteomics capacities and screening a given, uh, given molecule library for its effect on the whole proteome in the human body, and then using the power of our PanHunter platform to analyze this massive amount of big data with billions of data points that are being generated and really um, specifically detect the key proteins of interest that are now modulated 
by this by these small molecules. Thank you very much, Andreas, for these very interesting answers. Evotech enters collaboration with Bristol Myers Squibb in targeted protein degradation. As usual, you can find out more on this and other interesting news on our website at evotech.com.